Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate how to color. My thing is mostly coloring. I am learning how to paint, but I think coloring, there is a detail to it that that doesn't come easy with painting because unless you are that kind of an artist where you can paint, it's harder to, um, I don't know, control that paintbrush, but a crayon or pencil crayon is, is, or a pen is much more precise for the person like me who's an amateur. So I have a few tools today to do this. I, I love Arteza and so that's what I'm using today. I'm using this Arteza pen. Um, maybe you can see it better this, there we go. You can get this on Amazon and these crayons here, these are also on Amazon that I got them and they are ten, Arteza pencil crayons. Now I can use these with, with water and I sometimes do, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. And one thing I do, I take a gel pen, um, not this particular one, but I outlined the color here. And then I take a, um, this is just a, just a cheap, crazy art one that you can get anywhere. I think I got it at Amazon, I mean, Walmart. That's my other go-to place. And what I do, I like to do just to make the page come alive is I'll color in the verse like this and and it sort of says underlining because this verse I happen to underline it because I just did and because I wanted to emphasize part of the verse but I didn't want to leave out the context that the whole verse gave in this case <clears throat> the verse I'm doing today is Joshua 22 5 and I'm gonna have to turn my Bible this is filming upside down and I haven't figured that one out yet. Um, only be very careful to observe the commandment and the law that Moses, a servant of the Lord, commanded you. And this is what I'm praying for my husband. And to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cling to him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. And that is what the whole purpose of or the way I journal this whole page is is um it, it looks a little fuzzy on the on on the the way it's filming it and that will all come about in when I share it in the group that'll come and I might have to look into some better camera or something <laughs> so um what I do is I usually take a pen and I will go around, well, first I do everything in pencil. And what I did is I highlighted the word pray. And for your husband is not part of the verse. But it's what I want to do with the verse. And these are like portions of the verse in each of these hearts that I want to highlight because these are the things I want to pray for my husband. I want to pray that he will love the Lord. I want to pray that he will... Walk in all his ways and keep his commandments and serve him with all your heart and soul or his heart and soul. That's the, this is the way it's phrased in the verse. So now I take this um, pen and I outline um, the words that I put on the page and even the designs that I, I put on so that later it's, it's quick and easy to color it in, I think. And I'm trying to keep my designs on my Bible um, simple so that you can copy them so that I can teach you if you're new at this. There's a lot of new people that joined the group and last week quite a few and a lot of them are just new and they don't you don't know how to do it you want ideas and that's why I'm doing this one to um, show you how easy it is 
and you might need um, a stencil or something or trace a heart. I did happen to do these um, freehand because hearts aren't that difficult. And so you can see how you can color this in later. It's almost like you're making your own coloring page that you might have in a coloring book. You're doing it yourself and you're being creative. And you can think about the thing that you're writing and can pray for your husband as you um, do this. So this is kind of tedious. This is where sometimes I find that it's quick and easy to do it with um, a pencil. And I can put more on the page than I even have feel like I have time to journal. It goes down care quickly. Now, today I didn't use any particular font or um, font or handwriting style. What I did was I just used my handwriting. It's as simple as that. And if you don't feel your handwriting is all that neat to write out your verse, that's okay. Because if you look at any of the most popular fonts used in anything, whether it's a Bible verse graphic or a website or whatever, some of them are pretty um, messy type of handwriting. And sometimes they're not even easy to read. And so I would just encourage you to use your handwriting and don't worry about it. This takes a little more practice because I'll color in letters. What you do is you write them and you space them enough so that you can go back and fill in um, the thicker um, letter or make the letter thicker. Or you can just do each one um, as it goes either way. So this is supposed to be an A, but I don't know if it came out too clear. I tried to do that other scripty kind of A. I forget, always forget whether it's sans serif or serif. One um, each has um, a different style, and I've got to get it into my head better so I can tell you about it. All right, can you see how that's coming together? And... This is love the Lord. You want to pray that your husband loves the Lord with all his heart. And because that's what we're doing this month is we're concentrating on praying for our husbands. So it's love month. It's a month like when Valentine is during February, which it is right now. But, you know, to tell you the truth, you can do a little study on love or pray for your husband any month of the year. This is just a time when we're concentrating on it. But it really is to set up a habit. I've got to turn this the other way. Otherwise, I'm going to do these letters wrong. Now, it would be kind of boring to watch me do this the whole way. But what you can do is journal with me. Get your Bible out or a notebook and do it with me. And then you won't get um, bored watching me. And when I get better at this, I will, I'm going to be learning how to speed it up and then talk over it. In this letter, I will have to do commandments. So we're praying that our husband will keep God's commandments. Keeping um, God's commandments won't get you into heaven. You won't go to heaven based on keeping God's laws because everybody has broken it. And being good isn't something that gets us into heaven. We are sinners. You can't, God's not going to allow sin into heaven. But during your life, if you have asked 
the Lord to cleanse you and to come into your life, your heart and life, then that is how you get into heaven, through Jesus Christ, not through anything that you have done on your own. Nothing. It just won't, won't work. And we're going to pray that our husbands serve the Lord, serve him, as the verse says. And as you can see, that heart is behind it, behind the other heart. There you go, all his heart. You want to pray that your husband will love the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul. So important. We Put so many things in front of God and so many things can easily become more important than God. And all God wants is for us to love him with all of our heart. He doesn't want to have us put anything else in front of him. Now, you might be watching this in Jesus Journaling on Facebook or you might be watching it um, through my YouTube channel or you might have found this on my blog at over at His Unmeasured Grace where I encourage moms to live the, the mom life with grace and hope, with hope and grace. So I love the word um, hope. I was going to do these hearts with this but that doesn't matter. Um, so now what I'm going to do is show you how you can bring this simple little drawing alive by putting some color in it. Okay, this is all I'm going to do for, for today. And if you have done this, you can fill this in with the colors that you want to do. So I hope that this blessed you. Um, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like. Um, no, whatever it's called on YouTube. And join me.